McCormick and you're at McCormick Printing today here in Tipton. Um, just a little bit about us. Uh, my parents uh, bought a print shop which originally was in Elwood in July of 75 and uh, we were there till 94 and slowly as we graduated, I graduated in 78, we started to come here or started working at the print shop. So at one time all seven of us kids were here, five kids and our parents. Uh, in 1994, uh, we outgrew the place and we moved here to Tipton. So we'll just maybe show you around. Normally what happens when people come in, you know, they just give us a rough idea. I'm looking for business cards or the media guide for the sports program and we just sit down and begin just to talk a little bit about uh, what you're wanting, what you'd like to see on the cover. Uh, of course you guys are going to start bringing in ads, you know, the ads. And since we've done almost everything in Tipton, we probably have everybody's artwork and we have addresses and phone numbers so we can pull from that. But uh, I'll just show you around a little bit about us, alright? My sister, she takes care of all the estimating. So if someone, of course a lot of people need to have pr or pricing up front. So we have some software that uh, helps us through, uh, make sure we cut, dot every I, cross every T, and, and do things like that there. And here's our uh, graphic design, Kristen, uh, graduated from the Art Institute in Indianapolis. When did you graduate? 2011. Uh, so after the customer's given us the job, we write up job tickets, and you can see here we've got, uh, these are jobs that she hasn't even started on yet. <laughs> so those still have to be done, and then she creates them. Several of us will sit around and we'll look at it and tweak it fine-tune it, things we need to do, then we send it out to the customer. You can see that these jobs here have all been done, uh, but they're out waiting for the customer to call back and say, okay, they're ready to go. Uh, we do, uh, this is, is this going to be Christmas card here? So a lady painted this, so we'll scan it in, reduce it down to size, and this one is, we're going to do some smaller prints uh, for Christmas gifts, I think. So. But we got it in July, it was $101,000 for the copier, so, but it does really nice stuff. Print 16 point, which is not quite credit card thickness, but it's, it's, it does a really nice job. Full color, so. Uh, this here, this is my brother Chris, and we have a wide format printer. It's a, it'll print 44 inches wide, it has 12 colors, and we can do high quality photographs, we can do banners. Uh, we can print on uh, archival canvas, like you know how people print on or paint on canvas and stretch it around a uh, the frame like a Hobby Lobby and stuff like that. So we can do that. This here we're doing uh, is this for? Oh, this is for Gurney Garen, Garen Catholic yeah. School. Uh, some they're having some sort of awards Sorry. program this weekend. So how many prints you got to do with that? You know, nine. Nine. So. Okay. After the job's been approved and customers given us the okay to go, uh, if you've seen on TV the old dark rooms where you take a camera and you shoot the film and you pan develop it in the trays and stuff, we don't do that anymore. We go straight, everything's, uh, all the computers are networked. This goes straight from computer to play. We send it to this computer, which I forgot to turn on. I don't have a print here, which I'll show you. And this laser is the image on it. It used to take us like 25 minutes to make one plate which goes on your press. This here, I, it pumps it out every two, every, one every two minutes and uh, no chemicals, no rubbing, no buffing, which is really nice. This, this is an offset press and we can print two colors. Uh, this does swing away when I don't need it. Uh, I do mainly just envelopes on this press. Uh, the plate comes out of the plate maker. I, fix it to either one of the two cylinders and uh, at top speed it'll run just a little over 10,000 an hour and it does a really nice job. We have lamination, we can go like 40 inches wide. Uh, this press back here, it's, it's pretty small but this is the Cadillac of presses or the Lexus or the, what are you going to call it? Uh, it was $76,000 and we got this uh, in 96 and it has We've run 38 million, I can't read it, 549,907 sheets of paper through this press. Wow. Yeah. 
it runs two collars, but this is really nice. You put your plate on here, you push a button, it puts it on automatically. Flip it over, it puts the one on the front automatically. You can run it. Uh, Christopher at times will run it and he'll leave for lunch. He says, I'm going to lunch and he just lets it run. And when it's done, it stops itself. It takes the plates off itself. It washes the blankets. It's, it's really nice. But probably the, their largest one is a tin collar. It's probably like $3 million. It's, it's as big as this building, it's 71 feet long. If you ever get a chance to go to like a print show or something in Chicago, it is really cool. Plus you get huge posters. I mean, all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, some of the old stuff, which we still use, uh, I just ran this the other day. Uh, we do quite a bit of work for the hospital and this does die cutting. Can you see the, there's a blade there and it comes up a little bit. Check see it running. I'll, I'll put some paper in let you see it, all right? Let me, let me run. Well, again, uh, what I do, this will print uh, by putting rollers on it, but it, we're just die cutting. So after Christopher does his, does the printing, then he gives it to me and I will uh, set this up. This chase, this is called a chase, goes in there. Put my printed paper here or whatever I'm going to do. This arm will pick it up, take it in. I have just a little pump underneath you and slowly see it. it will pick it up, it'll let it go, it'll print it, and then this here picks it up and drops it. You can sort of envision what's going on. The bell tells me if I walk away, oh, it's run out of paper or something's wrong in here. And once it starts to pick up, it'll stop. So it prints that out there. And this is a form we do for the hospital. Because like that, and we have some holes we drill in there so they can put it in their boards. It runs about a thousand every 29 minutes or so. And watch, if it misses, it won't print. It's in print mode now, watch. The bell stops. And it'll do that all day. It's not real fast. But Then we have the little hand press, which is the same as what you just saw there, but we feed it in by hand and we still use that. We have a, a printer in, a, in Anderson that has some work that this machine still does. So This little machine here, we're doing a sports pocket schedules for Benton Central High School. And I don't know if you've ever seen, sometimes when you fold stuff, the paper will crack. Of course, it's not, it's folding pretty nice right now. <laughs> but a lot of times it will crack when you do small pieces. Well, we don't like how that feels. You might not see it, but I can't, we don't like that. So this machine here will score it. Puts a nice score exactly where it needs to be. And then we cut them and then we run them through the folder. Sometimes like your media guide has to be put in a, into a booklet form and uh, so after we have uh, the different pages done, we did a little thing for Western High School. They had a, a senior program night. So like your guys' cover, we print the cover and we put all the covers. You just have 10 bins. Each bin represents four pages, one, two, three, four. So we can create a 40 page book if had to. <clears throat> and it will pick it up comes through here and it's flat and it makes the staples or staples comes forward here and it folds it comes a little farther here and it face trims just the front of it we just got done doing a, sort of like a little comic book but it's a little gross <laughs> but when it comes out you have to trim the front of it off it has to be nice and clean which you can sort of see it just trims the front off of the books so the books look nice and sharp numbering and uh, perforating on that little machine. Uh, when the folks got together, I would go out to the meetings just to help them 
know how to organize whatever it is you guys were doing, you know, uh, when ads. So we just think, I just tell them, you know, get business cards, make sure I have a contact person name. If it's Tipton Ford, they gave you an ad and I've got a question, I can call. I don't need to call you to have you call Tipton Ford. I can call Ford directly and say, hey, I've got this ad. What am I doing? I didn't quite understand it. <clears throat> I work on pricing a little bit. My sister normally does most of the pricing, uh, but I, we sit down and figure out, okay, it took us 10 hours to create the book. Um, yeah three hours to run it and the book will make it and trim it and, and things of that nature. As far as Tipton basketball, I was in band for four years, <laughs> so that meant I was in pep club. But well, we think Tipton basketball is great. Oh yeah, we think Tipton basketball is <laughs> great. Yeah, okay. All right, thank you. All right, it's nice meeting you guys. Nice meeting nice you too. Meeting.